Well, here we are again. This time we're playing a game based off of H.P. Lovecraft's The Terrible Old Man. I haven't read this particular story by him, but I did read The Forgotten City. It was sort of an interactive kind of game thing. I'll put a link up in the video below if you guys want to check that out. So, Angelo, when are we going to blow this joint? Wow, that portrait. I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours' drive to Boston. How long are we staying here for? Oh, I'd say just tonight. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham? That's right. I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know. <laughs> what is up with these portraits? Say, speaking of action, look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? <laughs> Incredible. <laughs> hmm... No clue how to pronounce that. Be right back. Okay, apparently it's Shonik. Shonik, why don't you get your pasty ass over there and give her your best line? The faces move! I didn't notice that. Have they always been doing that? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. You still got some cash from the old broad the other night? Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. Better old Manuel here spends it on hooch rather than let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Damn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Left click to interact or right click to observe. For inventory and settings, move cursor to the top of the screen. All right, so standard point and click rules. All right, so the guy in the green hat is Silva. The guy in the blue hat is Ricky. And I guess I'm Shonik. So let's take a peek around. It's some it's some news clippings about an incident at the local port. They are from a paper called the Kingsport Bugle. Manuel Silva the man's built like a damned brick wall. A useful man to have around. Intimidation is his game. Angelo Ricci. He calls the shots in our little gang. The man's the size of a cockroach, but he's got a temper. So it looks like we're a bunch of crooks. The picture has a caption. A local king sport fisherman. Just some old poster cards put in frames. Incident at the local port, King's Port Bugle. They've tried to decorate this dump with some old prints. Some fancy looking curtains. Doesn't <laughs> suit this dive bar one bit. Alright, so just dusty pictures. She's one mighty fine looking broad. What she's doing in this pit of a town, I do not know. This guy looks like my cousin Peter, but cousin Peter, he ain't. Some local goon. Barman. I guess this might be the owner of this here establishment. He's been giving us the look over since we walked in the door. Well, let's go order us some beer. Three beers over here. Where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your goddamn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. You watch your manners, stranger. Folks are nice here in Kingsport. They look after each other. Three beers. Please? <laughs> That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. You know, we might be from Italy or Spain, given the names. But then again, I think we might be from all over because uh, Shonik isn't Italian that I know of. So we've got a car key, and we got cash. Oh, I guess we just click it. Two dollars right here. Three beers coming up. Wow, two dollars for three beers. I wonder what time period this is. Gosh darn it, the barrel's dry. I'm gonna have to go roll up a new one. Sit tight. 
Sigh. You know what these portraits remind me of? Shoot, what was that movie? The one where the guy's like, Tina, you fat lord? And the whole vote for Pedro thing? Oh, what movie was that? Guy had orange hair, glasses. Anyway, uh, he drew a picture of some chick when he asked her to the prom, and it was scary as hell. It was, like, hyper-realistic and stuff. These portraits remind me of that so much. I have to put a picture of that up. <laughs> it's gonna bother me till I remember what the name of that movie was. Dickie eating his dinner yet? I swear, he set a whole chocolate cake in front of his face, and he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been affected. I love how this guy's left eye is just so low on his face. You taking him to Doc Reeves? He'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run-in with that old fellow the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man? A former sea captain of some sort. You see him around town. Pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. I heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on the table inside his house. Calls him names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. Yeah, most peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dicky. A bit of respect. So what happened was Dicky threw a stone at his window, you see. And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dicky won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh dear. <laughs> These animations... He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows and, well, they aren't going to be happy no matter how feeble they are. I told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using old coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east, uncountable years back, and brought back untold treasures. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. Boys, you're not gonna believe it. You got a date with that broad? Oh shoot, we didn't even talk to her. He wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard those two chaps speaking about a crazy old man who lives in town. So rich, he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. <laughs> Sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house, then? I don't know. They didn't say. Find out, Shonik. Find out and we may find riches tonight. Alright, let's talk to that lady before I forget. Say there, miss, can I have a word with ya? Leave me alone, Greaseball. Hey, 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 no need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere, maybe to your mother. Ooh, burn. Ha, struck out again, Shonic. Suit yourself. Do you know anything about a rich old man who lives in town? Oh, you're back again. Don Juan doesn't stop trying tonight, does he? Jeez, this chick is awesome! I'm a very persistent man, ma'am. I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. Hmm. Say, fellas, what was that you were guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? 
Oh, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. Oh, conversation options. Nice. All right, where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is, too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I'd venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? This is super obvious. If the guy gets robbed or killed, they're all going to know we had something to do with it. And they're all going to know us from asking questions. Eh, whatever. A treasure hunter, are you? Yup. That's me. Get out of here, you bum. We don't want no thieves stinking up our town. Yeah, get out of here before I get the town guard. No, no, well, I mean, yes, I appreciate treasures like every other man out there. I have no intention of robbing the old goat. Well, then, why do you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? We ought to say we're antique collectors. Let's see, we're traveling salesmen, we're interviewing him, long lost resident, we found something, long lost relatives, we found something that belongs to him and wish to return it from the tax department, he owes us money. Hmm, that is the easiest to believe. Maybe, I guess, traveling salesmen? Because, I mean, we obviously don't belong to the local paper. Small towns like this, everyone knew each other. And I don't think anyone would believe relatives. Because we're pretty foreign. Um... There's... It's really not believable that we would have found something that belongs to him when we don't even know who he is. And I don't know about the tax department. So, let's just go with salesmen. We're traveling salesmen. Oh yes, what are you selling? Shoes! <laughs> Can we have a look at them? I need some new shoes. Sure thing, I'm wearing them right here. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Well, dang. Maybe we should have said tax department. Hello again. Oh, I suppose you still want his address. How do you know we can trust you, outsider? Well, looks like we get to try that again. Okay, let's not botch it. I'm pretty sure they can't prove we're not from the tax department. We're from the tax department. He owes us money. Then surely you would- Oh, God damn it! Surely you would have his address on file. He's right. Get lost. Hmm. Well, damn. Ah, they'd asked to see what the heck we found. So I guess long-lost relatives? We are his long-lost relatives. You expect us to believe that? You are clearly not a Kingsport stock. Well, he's got us there. So all that's left is interview him for the local paper, where we found something. But I mean, they'd know we're not from the newspaper. It's a small town, right? We wish to interview him for the local paper. Oh, yes, and what's the name of the local paper, then? <gasps> oh, oh, we read that. Uh, it was on the wall. The Kingsport Bugle. The Kingsport Bugle. Ha, huh, that old rag hasn't been printed for years. Son of a bitch! Lies, lies, and more lies. Ah, the developers set us up. Well, okay, then. Let's try that again. The telegraph. You, sir, are a pathological liar. Just tell me where he lives, okay? There's gotta be some... Okay, Kingsport Commune. Wrong. Okay, all that's left is the Times. The Times. Well, I guess all of those are a dead end. This game is mean. Okay. Fine. We found something that belongs to him and wish to return it. What's the item? An old ornament. 
Let's have a look, then. Ugh, it's out in the car. Bulldust. Get out of here. Jeebus, these are the smartest drunks I've ever seen. Okay, let's try the bartender. Do you know about an old man who lives in town? What can you tell me about those two guys? Okay, let's ask about the girl. What can you tell me about that broad over there? She's in here working all the time. Oh, god damn it. Prostitute. Doesn't look like she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Bet I know what line of work she's in. Okay, what about these two guys right here? Hey, we're right here. I was about to say, they're like a foot from us. Mind your own business, stranger. What he said. This is funny. Okay, the old man. Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Pa. Later. Let me know when you want those drinks refilled. Well, hell. Not you again. I'm busy. Yeah, what are you working on, apart from looking pretty? Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah? What is your vocation? I'm a journalist. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whoa, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsport Daily Star. Interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay, put your knickers back on, lady. Well, now we have the name of a newspaper. Hello again. Let's try... The Daily Star. I got mixed up before. We're from the Kingsport Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We are journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs onto Ship Street near the shore. That's a tongue twister. Ship Street near the shore. Hmm. Thanks. I appreciate it. So now that we have that... Fellas, I got the address. Good work, shiny boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we just passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Shanik, you take the car. Silva and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. And away we go. Later that evening. All right, we're all here. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and I'll go in through this here gate. Shanek, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there's a light on up there. Shanek, can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. It's too far away. I ain't climbing up there. Hmm. So how do I do that? I don't have any binoculars. What do you want me to do? Can't you get a closer look at that window? We need to double check what we're dealing with here. The old man might have a shotgun fixed on us right now for all we know. Let's see, what do you think of this place? Well, the house looks like it's seen better days. Hey, let's gabbing. Get to work, Shonik. What do you think those standing stones are from? Oh, that's right. They've got these weird swirly things. Beats me. They give me the creeps. Shit, this guy knows Cthulhu. Later. Yeah. 
I'm not messing with the gate until we're set to go. I guess we could try climbing up somewhere. Well, we could try climbing over on using that street pole, but the gate seems a more conventional choice. <laughs> the stone's on the other side of the wall. I ain't going in there. We didn't pay a dime for this classy ride. Some old codger back up in Arkham is probably still cursing us for swiping it. At least it seems we don't hurt people. I guess we're just thieves, and that's not too bad. The trunk is locked by a solitary padlock. Guess we didn't have buttons back then. Doesn't fit. This key's just for the ignition. Well, how do we get into the trunk, then? I should have the flippin' key. Although maybe we're not supposed to get in the trunk quite yet. Say, Ricky, you don't have the key for the trunk on you, do you? No, I don't. Don't tell me you lost the goddamn key, Shonic. No, no. Yeah, we lost it. Maybe Silva's got it. You got the key for the trunk? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Thanks. Gotta love point and click games. Okay, a good rubber always comes prepared. We got a spyglass, a crowbar, and some masks. Oh, he's moving about. Guess we put the key back. Uh oh. Witchcraft. I'm not going in there. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like he's the easiest target we ever had. I swear to God, he's not. He is gonna kill all three of us. I'm calling it. I'm calling it now. That man is a warlock. Good work, Shonic. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. Yeah, they're probably dismembered body parts from his victims. As long as we're quiet out there, he shouldn't notice us. He is engrossed in his queer little pursuit. Yeah, serial killing. Pathetic. You got our mask, son? Yeah, yeah I do, but we should leave. We should go, guys. We gotta go. I mean, it's it's not... I mean, it's unlikely we're the first people to try to rob this guy. Here's the masks. Okay, get that gate open. Yeah, okay, okay. Why am I always the one that has to do everything? Damn it, the old thing is locked tight. Open that gate! Gee! Maybe we could bash the lock with a rock? Or we could try climbing over it and unlocking it from the other side? It's an old looking gate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, crowbar. I'm an idiot. Never mind. Aha! We're in. Still, though, if it were locked, that would have made a lot of noise. Good work, Shonic. Okay, Silva, let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. He didn't even say anything, just smiled awkwardly. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man can be easily muffled. Yikes. Silva, you've hit the nail on the head. Shanek, wait for us in the car. Oh god, they're not coming back out. We should be back in it. No, you won't. You're not coming back, man. I just... Bye. Nice knowing you. Sounds like a plan, Ricky. 
Yeah, nice knowing you, Ricky. Oh, jeez. Remember, be gentle. Looks like our guy is the nicest of the three. Uh-oh. See, look at that. He turned out his light. He knows. That guy is butt buddies with Cthulhu, I'm telling you. What the hell is taking them so long? They're dead! They've been pickled in old wine bottles! Go, man, go! <sighs> yeah, see, what did I say? What's happened? Well, that wasn't an old man screaming. Come on. I better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them. I told them I said don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, here they come. Uh-oh. 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 Shit, run! Go! Go, go, go! Drive! These faces, man! Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels which the tide washed in. Fucking called it. Spoopy old men. You don't mess with them. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Was that it? There's gotta be it. I mean, that was great, don't get me wrong, but... Damn, that was short. I wonder if there's another ending? Maybe we can just use the key on the car and skedaddle? Oh, made in 30 days for the... for a competition. Okay. I guess that explains why it's so short, and most of it seems to be, uh, you know, hand-drawn. So, damn, you know, that was great. You know, especially for a game made in a month. And it just closed. So, I guess that's it for the terrible old man. That was a really quick game. I was really enjoying the mechanics of it. I wish it had gone on longer, but I mean, you know, for a 30-day competition, what are you going to do? Not to mention, I think it might have been a short story that um, Lovecraft had written. Since it follows the story, I really doubt there's multiple endings. But if you guys find anything out, let me know. Since this one was pretty short, I guess I'll release Spooky's House of Jump Scares real soon. So, I'll see you guys in the next video, and don't go robbing any spoopy old men. Bye.